So, for the last five years, I've been shooting with Pentax cameras, the last three of which have included paid work from motocross events, enduro events, and pet photography. And in that time, I've come across a few tips, tricks, and features that have drastically improved my photography and the overall experience of using the, the Pentax gear. And if you would let me, stick around today, and I'd be more than happy to share those with you. Now some of these are going to be pretty obvious, some not so much, but I am sure that you're going to find at least some of them useful. And make sure you watch until the end of this video, because I've got a feature right at the end, the bonus feature, that I think has a lot of potential to Pentax users. So in no particular order, here's 15 Pentax features that I think are pretty awesome. First up, we have IBIS, in-body image stabilisation. And this feature will come as no surprise to many of you as it's been one of the very few features the Pentax decided to run with in their marketing campaigns. IBIS works by stabilizing any lens which is attached to the camera. This in turn helps create a sharper image at lower shutter speeds. IBIS can also be used in conjunction with the bonus feature that I'm gonna talk about towards the end of this video. So stick around until then to find out what that is. Individual Lens Calibration, a brilliant feature that's available even on the entry-level Pentax models, such as the K30, the K50, the K70, and more recently, the Pentax KF. You have the option to calibrate up to 20 individual lenses to your camera body in order to tackle the frustration of front or back focusing issues. Pixel Shift. This is a great way to create a super detailed image with high dynamic range. This is achieved by the camera taking and combining four separate images into one. Pixel Shift was first introduced in the Pentax K3 Mark II. So for anyone using older models than that, I'm afraid you're out of luck with this one. Composition Adjustment. Much like Pixel Shift, this feature takes advantage of some great Pentax engineering to physically move the camera's sensor allowing you to recompose your image. And like many of the features in this video, I've actually got a dedicated video to composition adjustment, and I'll link that below in the description, and you can watch that after this video. Fifth on the list is the green button. I believe this feature is a Pentax exclusive, and it works by giving you what the camera deems a correct exposure, no matter what setting you're in, or what lens you have attached to your camera provided you actually press the green button. SIF. I'm not talking about the detergent or the cleaning agent. What I'm talking about is catch in focus. And I found this to be super useful when using a compatible vintage K-mount lens to capture fast moving subjects. SIF, for all intents and purposes, is basically focus trapping. And this is where you choose a, a focal plane, you focus on that, you pre-focus on it and then you wait for your subject to enter the frame. This causes the camera to release the shutter and you capture the image. And again, I've got a dedicated video for catching focus, SIF, leave it below, you can watch that one later. WR, which is weather resistance. And for me, this was one of the main reasons I first bought a Pentax camera, which was the Pentax K70. Eighth on the list is in-camera editing. Now, this one may not be for everyone, but it's definitely a fun feature to play around with, just to see what you can come up with after a shoot, or while you sat drinking a couple of beers. Which reminds me, if you enjoy these videos or get any value from them, you can show the love by using the link below to buy me a beer, or three. Cheers. Astro Tracer. I was a little hesitant to include this one on the list, but that's purely down to me not actually having used this feature for myself. Just going off the fact that this feature is so useful to so many photographers to have this option included in their Pentax cameras, I felt it needed to be included on the list. Number 10 is the backwards compatibility of the K-mount. There are so many benefits to this, but the one that I find most enjoyable is that I can use so many different vintage lenses on my camera without the use of an adapter which is often a breath of fresh air when you just want to have a nice walk out of the camera on a day like today and shoot for the love of it. The quick menu customization, a very simple but very useful feature, especially if you want the options you use most often in one place. 
DNG RAW files. This is a little tip that I'm sure many of you will already know, but as standard, Pentax cameras are set up to create their own PEF files. However, with your Pentax camera, you have the option to change this in camera to DNG RAW files, which are pretty much universally recognised by all of the RAW photo editing programs available. In camera lens corrections. These are nice to have if you find yourself always correcting lens distortion, chromatic aberrations or diffraction in post production. Button customization. This is very useful if like me, you want your camera set up in a specific way for your style of shooting. And at number 15, we have quick zoom. I found this to be super useful for checking my images when out in the field to see if I've nailed focus. Oh. Okay, so this is the bonus feature that I was talking about. And it's a feature that's not used by enough Pentaxians, myself included. It's autofocus hold. Now Pentax cameras are obviously not known for their autofocus capabilities, but this is a hidden gem, I feel, and it's something that's not been utilized enough and fully understood really and demonstrated. So hopefully today I can show you a little bit of what it does. And I'll just explain it quickly now. It's basically, it's got three different settings. Well, four if you include off, but the three settings are low, medium and high. And it's all about prioritizing subject focus when it's locked on in a parallel panning sort of motion. It's not for subjects coming towards you or away from you, it's the parallel. And once it prioritizes the subject and locks on, in theory, it ignores other objects what's in front of the camera. So I've come down to this river today to test this and hopefully we get a duck, a goose, a swan, anything flying up the river, ideally up the river, because I want to lock onto the subject and then see if these branches end up confusing the camera or if the camera, like it says, all over focus hold, stays locked onto the subject. Now I'm using the Pentax K3 here with the 55 to 300 PLM. The best sort of setup, the fastest setup that I can uh, get for this, apart from the, the K3 Mark III, but obviously I don't own that camera. And um, I've got it set up shooting at one over 2000 F8, auto focus hold on high, image stabilization is off. Hopefully we can demonstrate this. I'm just uh, gonna wait around here and see if we get the shots. But I do plan on in the future making a full length video on this to explain how to set this up on your camera and really sort of like dive into it and um, just, you know, learn on camera with you guys about it. Because I do feel that it's um, underutilized and I, I think there's some, uh, there's some life in it. I think we can get some uh, good shots with this. So that'll be in the, the top corner of this video. Click on that. If it's not, it will be in the future and I'll see you over there. I'm out for now.